There it is. Beautiful downtown Renault. Hi, my name is Michael, and uh, I'm kind of a stand-up comedian with my friends here in Reno, and uh, I wanted to start a little vlog that kind of shows uh, how incredible they all are. And this is going to be the first episode, so this week what we did, um, I wanted to film, uh, I wanted to start it out by filming this show that I actually got to headline, and we pre-sold all of our tickets, which was great. Long and short of it is uh, we started posting that the whole thing was sold out, and uh, these traveling nurses, they bought half of the tickets, basically, and then only a small percentage of the traveling nurses actually showed up, but it was an incredible crowd. Everybody came out uh, to show a lot of support. Uh, my friend and my dead panda compatriot, uh, Luke Westberg and I, we put in a lot of work into uh, working with the Blind Onion out in Sparks. We love featuring locals. We love really creating a place where the people here can get better. Um, just And we try to run it pretty fairly, I would say. Uh, we like to, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of rambling here, but basically what I want to do with this is, uh, I think that people here in Reno, particularly the stand-up comics, they need a little bit more, they need more eyes on them because there is a lot of incredible, talented people out here, and I would really love for people to see them. So that's kind of the point of this vlog. Mostly it's going to be us around town talking shit with one another at open mics, and then I'm going to cut in little pieces of their sets. I'll have like their whole performances that I film as well, but I, you know, you don't, for open mics, you don't, who wants to film their open mic set and put it online? That's, that's kind of gross, so I'm going to do it in a different way, something that's a little more like, more like a sneak preview than this open mic set where somebody's trying out brand new stuff and it could potentially be a fucking nightmare for them. Other than that, this week, we, what's going to be featured is, it's going to be our open mic that we run out in the Blind Onion as well, every Sunday night, meet Luke. Um, and then a roast of our friend Robbie Cook at his place called The Library. Uh, normally each week, I'll show the other mics. We got a whole bunch of rooms in town. Uh, right now, I just filmed Saturday through Monday night, so there's not really too much to show. And uh, next week, I'll put out another episode, show all the rooms that are going up. I know the... <laughs> Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> And here's my friend. Luke, what are we doing tonight? What's up? What are we doing tonight? We're making people laugh, maybe. Yes, we are. What is this? It's an open mic comedy at the Blind Onion. Sai and Molman both giving middle fingers. Uh, another pack week, Luke Demas, a uh, famous uh, dog food critic. Yes. Molman. By the time this camera is found. <laughs> There's Sai Looney. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is going to be a fond memory now. Young love. Young love. Time this camera is turning Are you making a fundraiser for Molman? What? Oh, right here. You look like you're about to do an auction here uh, for a Mormon's wife. Like, who's, who's ready for a new one? Very accurate. Very accurate. so often, so please get used to it. Um, who was here for the comedy show last night? Yeah, yeah, round of applause. Okay, little, little round of applause, which is surprising because it was a sold out fucking show for Dead Panda, and it was amazing. So everybody could clap. Yeah, yeah. 
We did that. It was really cool. Yeah. Me, huh? No. All right. My boyfriend got to headline. That's me. Which is really cool to see. I really liked it. I got to meet his family and his parents, which is really awesome. And I'm so glad that we could just skip the small talk to where we could go straight to uh, letting you know that Michael won't let me peg him, which is very disappointing, but that's fine. That just means that you raised a really good boy and Winnemucca is really homophobic, which is fine. We'll just get used to that. But no, we did our usual ritual. If Michael has a bad show, then... It's never happened. But... It's never happened? Really? No. Okay, it has happened because our ritual is when he has a bad show, then we go upstairs to the attic and I just will jack him off and instead of spit or lube, he just uses his tears to... <laughs> <laughs> I just... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And if he has a good show, which I'm so sorry, mom, cover your ears, then he gets to put on Jurassic Park and he puts on his dinosaur T-Rex onesie and he gets to fuck me and say, rawr, rawr. <laughs> he loves it. All righty, guys. All right, so just pulled up to Junkie downtown. It's like a little costume store here in Reno. I, uh, I'm meeting up with my friend Luke. We're gonna go costume shopping here. Uh, we're doing it for our Lucy's men, uh, murder mystery birthday party. I'm uh, looking at this angry, energy, elderly man here, and he's looking at me like, uh, what are you doing? And I'll tell him. I don't think he wants to be featured in this, though. Other than that, we got the roast. That's happening later tonight. So, I'm just going to go pick out our characters. I'm going to be doing a, a, a professor of, and like, studies of Hollywood. I'll probably just make up something, uh, but his name is going to be Professor Bastion Hardwood, and I... Got some, hopefully be able to find some. I got some turtleneck already, and hopefully I can find like a nice jacket and like a pair of glasses to go over it and pull the whole look together. It's going to be tasteful. Luke is playing a child actor named Ian Calder. So as soon as he gets here, we'll go costume shopping. Blake? Yeah. Keep it going for Lucy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, She's a great job, right? She uh, yeah. talked about how I feel about good and bad sets tonight. She told everybody about my dinosaur suit. <laughs> when she has a bad set, she likes to lay under a glass table, and then I have to climb a ladder and then shit on the table. <laughs> and when she has a good set, we move the table. <laughs> Hello, Hook. Oh, that was an accidental close up of some breasts. Alright. We're just looking for Luke Westberg. We're dressing up for a costume party. A murder mystery event. Ooh, this is where I'm gonna look. I wanna, I'm gonna be a perfect. Ooh, do we got winners already? Awesome. Alright, we'll come back to that. It's Mobrato Gobina. I actually just texted you asking you. So, this is what I'm thinking right here for Ferrante. Oh, if I can find man. brown corduroy pants for this, and then maybe this tie. Dude, yeah, that's this tie, just, yeah, that's. The... I gotta find brown <laughs> pants. All right, I'll help you out. All right. Okay, we're you, we're gonna find Luke. For? This is just for my vlog. I'm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Hi, buddy. <laughs> This yeah, is a, this is a coincidence. This is another one of our new imports here in Reno. One of our favorites. Uh, God, you dress like when you're not out and about. Like your lazy clothes, man. You you look broke as fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, Steven, You know I love you, man. Uh, you're one of my favorite comics. You know Stephen is a very smart comic. He can tell you things like how long it takes for a woman's tits to go cold after she dies. <laughs> Ferrante is going to be beautiful, frankly. Yeah. I gotta go. I gotta train you on now. There's Luke. What do you think? I'm an ex uh, child star. <laughs> Ian Caldor. Dude, this place is great. Oh, there's a mirror here. I'm going to be a college professor. Have you been in here before? Let's go wear a yeah. yeah. I just never buy costumes because no. I'm a big dude. And nothing ever fits me. 
Like I come in with a theme and then I just leave sad. <laughs> I leave sad everywhere I go. I leave happy. You guys got to start. My house, uh, you you guys got to start day drinking. No, I have a high tolerance. Mm. I hate it so much. Like, like I watched Moman get drunk last night in like two shots, and yeah. I was like, "Oh, this is adorable." <laughs> I love drunk Moman. <laughs> Yo, like, it, was, it was like instantaneous. I was just like my my science part of my brain clicked on like like we need to study you. We need to see what's going on. It's like a squirrel getting drunk on like a fermented pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> just takes bites and then he's like falling up the tree. All right, I think I got one I need because this is this is thirty eight thirty, so that should be fine. I think I'm gonna take a quick look baggy. for some. I've got some pants that I'll make work already. I just want to try to find like a dorky turtleneck or something. Damn. I guess I'm Luke. I, I have kind of a petite figure and frame, as she so kindly pointed out. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Yay! I'm Molman if you worked out like every day for the next like three years. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can do it, buddy, I believe in you. I worked out with you. Yeah. <laughs> This kid like climbs like a fucking spider monkey and went rock climbing with him. Jesus Christ. His forearms are like a third of his body weight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh all right, back home from running around all day. Got a, We got our costumes picked out. We uh, did all the stuff. I have to host a roast in about two and a half hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and write my set out. I have a lot of work to do, I have very little material, so I'm gonna just take this time to stretch it out, go ahead and get ready, and uh, hopefully we can put on a good show, and I'm, I'm sure we will. I can imagine it's gonna be filled ass to mouth of people, but that would be, that would be nice. Uh, busy week, so very distracted. Uh, and I'm just going to experiment with a little time lapse here to see if people give a shit about some exposition with some music in the background and sped up hand stuff. I don't think, uh, where's your wife? Left at home. Your wife didn't come? She so don't have to kick all your asses. His wife never comes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Stop, man. Right? Yeah. Yeah. His wife never comes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so this is kind of our stage for the roast tonight. Just gonna get some audience yeah. members in here. I'm gonna set this camera down and I'm gonna do a nice little. No, don't like that. I'm gonna do a nice little shot of me dressing the stage, try to set this up and make it look pretty. side by side. We gotta get you that outfit, man. That's who you're gonna yeah, be in for Halloween this year. My boy Cy Looney's here. <laughs> I'm glad the charges didn't stick for that time you tried to buy breast milk from a pregnant teenager. Definitely going in now, but. <laughs> Why are you recording this? Is this for like a documentary? Dude, did I tell you about? I'm starting like a little vlog so that we can kind of get. Oh yeah, some I think you were telling me. You're only into horror movies. <laughs> are you yeah, telling like 
Alto murder right? one of us, it and this is just a foul <laughs> footage film? I don't know, okay, Fiona. So <laughs> Which one of us, if you had to murder one of us, this like, you're just, like, uh, lost okay. it, who are you okay. starting that with? That makes a lot more I sense. Don't yeah, know I, was, I, was, I went to this church in the hood, it's called Frontier Baptist Church. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm a strip club DJ. Robert, Robbie's daughter was a stripper. <laughs> I've seen your daughter naked. <laughs> you know what? I looked it up. Flavor Flav has 14 kids. None of them strippers. <laughs> that means a crackhead's a better father than you. So is this going to be like the Blair Witch Project? That one's No, so basically, let me just get myself on this for continuity. So basically, the idea for this vlog is I want everybody to get to know the Reno people that run it. And with, oh, damn, you're fucked. She's freaking out black people that run it. I'm punching animals. And within this, domestic abuse makes me strong. I'm just going to cut in some like spots and open mic for you guys to fucking blow it out of the water. And then. Go with your and permission, of course. Like, film your sets, like, like in case you want them. And then, <laughs> from there, yeah, in just middle, hopefully like, get some extra eyes and get some people wanting to come and see us more, because... Because Reno's, like, like, yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, like, deserving. Yeah. <laughs> Reno's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah. She grabbed her. Yeah. And we're here for this asshole's birthday. Robbie, say what's up. Hey, what's up? Are you ready to cry tonight? Cry? Oh, you're going to cry. I eat tears for breakfast. You're gonna cry and, and, <laughs> and get turned on, so. And get turned on? So oh, yeah. Turn on. So let's fucking try to see if we can get our acts here and get the show started. Who? Uh, some of you guys might not know, Michael Graham is dating Lucy, the comedian. Good for them. Uh, really, I really hope they have another kid. Uh, I, love their, I love their first kid, Stephen Mullman. Uh, <laughs> Did you guys like that whole thing? If you did, please show some support. You can find all of my hilarious friends uh, at their social media sites. Everybody featured tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and tag them right here. And uh, other than that, if you're also if you're a local musician, please, I'd love to put some non-copyright infringing music into these. So feel free to drop me a DM, send me anything. Uh, and I hope everybody has a good day. And uh, we'll see you next time.